Hey, how was the flight? It was great. Thanks for meeting me at the airport. Hmm, you're welcome. Uh-oh. It's fine. Just go back to sleep. Well, I can't go back to sleep now. It's fine. Seriously, just go back to sleep. You're not going to yell at me? Nope. Come on, what's with you? A year ago, you would have laid into me for not doing something I said I would. That was the old me. That was the... That, that, that Polly needs you rested for tonight. Just get some sleep. Well, I hope the cab ride wasn't expensive. Oh, I didn't take a cab. Sebastian had his car drop me off. Sebastian? Hey, Willie. Angie, you look good, big fella. So do you. Your beard's growing in real nice. <laughs> yeah, finally. <laughs> Listen, um... My wife will be home in an hour. I don't have a lot of time to chat. Why don't we uh, just get started, huh? Okay. I still can't believe I have all this money rolling in and it's still not enough to sweep them off their feet. Believe me, unrequited love is a requirement to hang out at this bar. I'm still holding off for Father Anglicus, even if he's happy as a clown with Drake. Ugh. Gross. So gross. I'm, I'm really, really happy, happy for them, though. You're still staring. No, no, look at him! I'm gonna give him the wrong idea. I know he's a nice guy, but trust me, you don't want someone to think that you're interested in them. The worst thing in the world is to have someone pining over you when you have no intentions of ever dating them. Now, come on, let's focus on my dream. You can't hold out hope for them forever. No. Oh. I'm not. <laughs> Only a silly goose would pine away over someone who has no plans on ever dating them. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean you. I mean, I guess you already know you're a silly goose, so I did mean you. But I didn't mean you in that moment. <laughs> I could see why you think I meant you when I meant otherwise, though. Uh, yeah. There, I think everything's all set for tonight. I'm really looking forward to the show. This is a serious ceremony, sir. Someone has died, and we're here to honor her memory. There's not gonna be any show. Do you think we should have mentioned she's only in a coma? Why? I don't know him like that. Looking for something? I just don't know anymore. There's that senility setting in. <laughs> you know, a dear friend of mine is dying right now. Wait, that's not fair. I never really cared for her. She's the sister of a dear friend of mine, and there's nothing more that I want than just to be with her right now and all of my friends, but I can't. I have no one to blame Don't but myself. Stop that. I refuse to believe in the word can't. It's a, an ugly, disgusting word. It makes us live in fear. You're a wonderful man, Hammy. But you just don't understand. I know there's somewhere you want to be. So go. There's nothing stopping you from walking out that door. Oh, Hammy, sweetie, there are multitudes of things stopping me. I know you don't see them, but I assure you, they're there. Thank you so much, Henry, for letting us use your little bar in memory of Hopper. It's Hunter, Mrs. Agrafis. Sure, anything for Polly. Of course, it would have been nice if you took a few minutes to mop the floors, but I suppose that would have been asking too much. I didn't think they were that dirty. <laughs> That's my mama. She can't give a compliment without inserting a little bit of sass in there. Yeah, well, we're happy to help. Thank you. So Sebastian Jupiter's coming and he's going to sing. What time's he going to be here? Oh, that's a good question, actually. I should probably go make a phone call. You 
guys are so sweet. God, I'm so jealous. I'm sorry. <laughs> Didn't mean to say that out loud. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we are happy. Well, we seem happy, right? I mean, we look happy, that's what really counts. Hunter, sweetie, that's a lot to unpack. And I don't have the time to do it, so we'll do it later. Look, let me get this straight. Um, Y'all make money just playing around on the computer all day? Yes, sir. That's right, sir. But playing isn't the right word, but it is the easiest way to describe it. Yeah, Simon over here is a real whiz with computers. He's helped me out with a bunch of cases. Oh, you're only saying that because it's completely and totally accurate. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Why else would I say that? Tell me about the diaper, son. I I can't seem to wrap my mind around your diaper. Um, once you're finished with it, won't the diaper smell? Yes. Yes, it does. You look troubled. I have half a mind to ask you what's going on. Well, since you brought it up, I just... I said I had half a mind. The other half is really not interested in your melodrama. Do you think Glenda's okay? You know, I'm actually really surprised to hear you mention that. No, it's just that the last time we read a memorial service was for her, so... You know, this whole thing's got me thinking. You know, um... That actually has me thinking, too. Uh, would you consider uh, sexy online video chatting uh, cheating? Because, you know, I'm asking for a, a parishioner, uh, more like a patron of Money Shots. Uh, they're actually, you know, they're more like just a, a friend of every... Do you hear that? I, I hear somebody calling me. I will be right back. Excuse me. We have a problem. He is not coming. I'm not surprised. That guy is bad news. Yeah, but we need him here. We need him here for Polly because she needs him here for Piper. Fine. What do you want me to do? You want me to help? No. No, you can't do anything. You have to be here for Polly. Do you want me to come with you? No, I don't need your help. I can do this. I can do this by myself. You just stay here and take care of all of this. We had a deal. <laughs> Look, I don't know what to tell you, short round. Where are you? I am coming to you. We are going to discuss this. <laughs> Look, I'm at a club. I just met this really hot chub named Georgie. He's uh taking me back to his place. Fine, then tell me where his apartment is and I will go there. Ooh, hey, that sounds like a good idea. Uh, hang on, let me ask him. Hey, Georgie, where do you live again? I changed my mind. I don't do private gigs. Well, then give me my money back. <laughs> Too late. I already spent. Are we just gonna stand here and talk all night? We gotta go upstairs to my apartment. Look, this guy, his ass, and your music, it can wait a few hours while you go and make a greedy family a little happier. Listen. I didn't duck out of that party early with you. Just so we can stand around while your stalker hunts you down and whines. I am not a stalker! You won't be on your feet much longer. Just give me a second to show that way. Look, maybe there's a way that I can uh, maintain my dignity and not do this private gig. And still do you a solid. But, uh, that really depends on how far you're willing to go to embarrass yourself for your dead friend. Well, A, she's not dead, and B, she's not a friend. Forget it. Just tell me what I gotta do. <laughs> hey. Hey. Uh, I'm AJ. Cool. And you are? <laughs> Uh, not interested? Oh, that's cute. Listen, I don't chase men. Men chase me. Oh. What's this for? Quench that thirst of yours. Uh -huh. Do I 
really have to stay like this the whole time? Oh, be quiet, Polly. It's not my fault. You forgot to pick up the portrait. Well, it's not my fault I got drunk last night and overslept this morning. Shh, you're supposed to be your dead sister. She is in a coma. Well, death TBD then. Thank you for coming out tonight. It's never easy when tragedy brings people together, but the love you share will help you carry through this. We all miss Piper Zucker. We all miss Piper Z, but despite her death, we must carry on. Now, I would like to open the floor to anyone who would like to say a few words in remembrance of your dear friend. What's up, Money Shots? How we doing tonight? Oh, rest in peace, Piper. I hate to keep correcting people, but Piper is not dead. She, she's not what? Give it up for Cameron Diaz, everyone. And how about that name, Cameron Diaz? Hey, Cameron, why couldn't you have taken her money instead of her name? Maybe you wouldn't try to kill us all last year. Am I right? <laughs> Dennis, what are you doing? Veronica. Veronica! Remember the time we all thought you killed your baby and ate him? I bet he tasted a lot better after he was barbecued later than I... <laughs> is he roasting people? He thinks this dream is to do stand-up comedy. So he's trying it out. At a funeral? And what can I say about Gerard? The man has a lot of love to give people. <laughs> of course, being with him will kill you, and that's before he puts his penis in you. That's how smothering he can be. <laughs> that's me. I'm smothering. <laughs> and Reese. Hi, Reese. Reese just showed up one day, and there's nothing we could do to get rid of him. He's the human equivalent of herpes. <laughs> Speaking of laughter, have you seen Polly's mom? Woman's a riot. She abused one kid to protect her from being abused from the other kid. What a lady. She's the best mother since Pamela Voorhees. I have no idea who that is. All right, Dennis, I think you've given it enough. Let's call it a day, huh? I'm just getting started. Please, don't continue. You're not funny. Oh, no? You think you can do better? I'd like to see you try. <laughs> I have no idea what you've done to deserve these people getting together and honoring your memory. You little demon woman. And yet, there they are, huddled together in that bar, spending their evening memorializing you. Someone they hate. Well, I will say to you what no one else will have the courage to say to you while you are connected to all these machines. I hate you, Piper. You do not deserve these people. And while you do deserve to suffer, it seems we will be the ones to do so in your place. Well, not me, Piper. Not me. There will be some changes. I am going to make the afterlife something worth living after all. <laughs> hey there, Angie. Father Anglicus, ladies and gentlemen. The man will see straight through you. Unless you're a cult leader, then he'll fall hopelessly in love with you. When Hunter was a little boy, I, 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 I would catch him deep-throating his sausage at breakfast. I'd never say anything, but that is when I knew they could really take it in, too. Um, Shame he doesn't use that talent. He is such a selfish lover, but uh, I mean, when was the last time you blew anybody? So? All of you are idiots. 
Except you. I'll leave you all to figure out who I mean. Hey, fuck you, Chaz. There's such a thing as going too far, even in the name of comedy. Uh, yeah, I'll let him know. God, be more annoying, ugh. Dennis, this is Ted. He wants to know if you want to go spelunking again. What, what is wrong with you people? Why do you keep involving me in situations where no one has actually died? <laughs> stop, stop laughing! This isn't a joke! We dated for a year, and whenever she got mad at me, she would threaten to withhold sex. And I remember thinking to myself, does she think this is punishment? <laughs> Woman's bad in bed, that's all I'm saying. Well, I only met Piper once, but it was a whirlwind encounter. She held a knife to the man I have a crush on, and I wet myself, and I didn't have anyone to change her. And then, a wise old woman talked about nightmares, and bam, the police came and escorted her away. It was like any first date I ever went on in Los Angeles. <laughs> now I'm done. Piper, she was really one in a million. Master said that she was one of his best friends. He would do anything for her. Wait, wait, Piper's the crazy one? We're talking about Polly? Oh, oh, well I don't know anything about this broad. She's crazy, I know that. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, <laughs> we here at the Church of Money Shots feel it's best not to speak ill of the dead. Whether or not they are dead or not, it really doesn't matter. All these kind words people are saying about my baby girl. Mama, are you actually listening to what people are saying? Oh, hush, Evelina. Let Mama have her fantasy. Hey, are you on the joint? Well, yeah, me and my friends Dennis and Chaz. Whatever. I'm not interested in them. Name's AJ. I'll give you points for assistance. You know, I've avoided this place for so long. You guys got this rep for letting folks in a little too light below for to catch my drift. It is a gay bar. Yes, I know. But there's gay and then there's gay and, you know. Uh, I mean, you, you can't tell me you don't know what I'm talking about. I mean, I, I know what kind of guys you're into, what kind of guys you're not into. I've been watching you all night. You're you're into real men. I've seen it. Don't say a word, okay? <laughs> you can't possibly tell me that you find that attractive. Well, yeah, once you get rid of the wig and the dress and all that. Bull, take all that away. They are still a Nancy Prancy at art, and no real man's gonna touch that, unless it's in the back of an alley. I mean, the mouth is good for something, I guess. Just not around people. Excuse me. I got customers to care of. <laughs> got you later, Stein. All right, let's just cut out the shtick for a little bit, okay? And maybe we can honor Piper in a different way, through song. Now, Sebastian Jupiter couldn't be here in person tonight, and please don't clarify. But he did send along a previously unreleased music video for me to play for you. He even dressed me as a backup stand artist to create an atmosphere of being at one of his performances. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Sebastian Jupiter.
So he said if I wanted to have a song there, that he needed to have a groupie there. And that meant that I had to be there in drag, so... <laughs> but I thought you didn't want to do this anymore. I don't. I mean, this is all his. Oh. You know, I just realized I'm going to have to return this to him, aren't I? He's probably the type of guy that keeps track of all his possessions, so... Uh, well, if it wasn't something you wanted to do, then why did you do it? Well, Polly needed that song there. It was really important to her, and I want to make that happen for her. Besides, it doesn't hurt me any. Yeah, but you did walk down the street like this. <laughs> like I haven't done that before? Mm. Yeah. I just thought this was something you wanted to put behind you. Yeah, you were finished with it, you know. I don't see why. I mean... It's just clothes. It's, just, it's no different than any other costume. Mm. It's different. Let's just forget about it, okay? Let's just go to bed. Go wash your face. Oh, come on, Daddy. Kiss me. No, no. Oh, no, no. Go no. wash your face. Yeah.